Hello friends, my name is Chinmay Deshpande. In this video lecture, we are going to discuss about numerical differentiation using Newton's forward interpolation formula. So, we will be discussing about a derivation of this. The question is, derive the formula for dy by dx and d square y by dx square at x equal to x0 using Newton's forward difference interpolation formula. So, let me start the derivation. Let us write let y0, y1, y2 up to yn are the values of y, are the values of y equal to f of x. So y equal to f of x is the function and we have y0, y1, y2 up to yn are the values of y corresponding to values of x which will start from x0, x1 up to xn. So meaning is nothing but when we have, so I will write it like this, when we have a corresponding x0, its corresponding value will be y0. Then x1, this will be y1 up to when we have xn, we have a value up to yn. So let us consider this is what is your uh, given values and here it is assumed that data is equally spaced. Data is equally spaced. Now already in a unit of interpolation we discussed that what is in, uh, equally spaced when distance between x value is same. So therefore I can write it as h will be equal to a step size which will be equal to x1 minus x0 or in other words you can write it as x i plus 1 will be equal to x i plus h where i belongs to 0 comma 1 comma 2 up to dot dot dot. So this is what is the data that we have. Now what we have to determine? We have to determine dy by dx at x equal to x0 and d square y by dx square at x equal to x0 is to be determined. So if you want to find it out this dy by dx and d square y by dx square we have to use here Newton's forward interpolation formula. So let me write Newton's forward interpolation formula. Already we have gone through this formula in previous unit we discussed, we have derived this formula. So let me write this formula. It will be equal to what? It will be equal to y equal to y0 plus p into delta y0 plus p into p minus 1 upon 2 factorial delta square y0 okay, plus p into p minus 1 p minus 2 upon 3 factorial delta cube of y0 up to dot dot dot. Where, what is the value of p? Here if you see, the value of p will be equal to x minus x0 upon h. Where h is the step size, x0 is nothing but a first value, x is nothing but to which we have to find it out value of y. Or you can say it is interpolated value. Now, let me do one thing here. I will take a derivative of this term p with respect to h. So I will write it as now what is your value of dp upon dx not uh, with respect to h we are taking it with respect to x. So dp upon dx what you will get now here if you see 1 by h is the constant so we will take it out derivative of x with respect to x is 1 x0 will be constant so it will have a derivative equal to 0 so what you will get dp upon dx will be equal to 1 by h treat this as the equation number 1 now we know that the equation y equal to y0 plus p delta y0 so let me write this equation in another format means what I will do y equal to y0 plus p into delta y0 now what I will do, I will multiply this p inside, okay, 
I will multiply this p inside, so it will be what? P square minus p upon 2 factorial is 2, delta square y0. Now first what we will do, we will do multiplication of this. So what is, I will write it here, p into p minus 1 will be what? p square minus p. And if you multiply it with the p minus 2, what you will get? p square into p is p cube minus 2 p square, okay? So uh, p square, sorry, p cube, p square into p is p cube. Then this will be p square into 2 is minus 2 p square. Then minus p into p will be equal to minus p square and this will be plus 2p. So let me write this as what you will get p cube minus 3p square plus 2p del cube of y0 divided by what is 3 factorial it is 6 plus dot dot dot. Now what I will do I will differentiate so let me write it here differentiate above equation with respect to p. What to do? Differentiate above equation with respect to p that is dy by dp. So now what will be your y0? This is a constant so it will be 0. Plus if you differentiate it with, with respect to p then derivative of p with respect to p is 1. So you will get delta y0. Plus what you will get here if you see I will take 1 by 2 common and here you will get 2p minus 1 del square of y0 and plus let me write it here 1 by 6 into bracket it will be what 3p square minus 6p plus 2 delta cube of y0. So here we have taken plus dot dot dot. Here we have taken dy by dp. Now if you see we have determined this dp by dx uh, and we treat this as a equation number 1. So what I will do, I will write it as now, what is your dy by dx? dy by dx will be equal to, if you see, we will be writing here dp by dx, which was equation number 1 into dy by dp. So if this dp dp get cancelled, you will get it as dy by uh, dy by dx. So let me substitute now. What is dp by dx? It was 1 by h. So let me write it as a 1 by h into bracket. What is dy by dp? So let us write this is delta y0 plus here if you see uh, 2p minus 1 upon 2 into delta square of y0 and plus 3p square minus 6p plus 2 divided by 6 delta cube of y0 plus dot dot dot. So this is what is the equation we will get of dy by dx. Now let me write it as when, when x equal to x0. What will be the value of p? Now we know that p equal to x minus x0 upon h. So what we are putting? We are putting this x equal to x0. So what you will get? x0 minus x0 upon h which will be equal to 0. So therefore if I do this dy by dx, so let me put it here, dy by dx at x equal to x0, then what you will get? You just substitute here uh, in place of p you substitute 0, okay? Because we are calculating it at x equal to x0. So what you will get? From above equation we will get 1 by h. So you will get this as a delta y0 plus now we have to uh, keep this p as a 0. So what you will get remaining term? Remaining term will be equal to minus 1 by 2 into delta square y0. Now keep this p equal to 0. So what you will get? 2 by 6 means plus 1 by 3 into delta cube of y0 minus dot dot dot. So this will be your formula if you see this is your formula which we have derived for dy by dx at x equal to x0. Now in a question it is expected to find it out d square y by dx square. So what I will do now I will uh, write it directly again again 
so let me take whatever about equation as uh, okay let me write this equation i forgot to write number so let me write this equation as equation number 2 let me write this equation whatever we got is the thing but equation number 3 so now what i want to find it out i want to find it out d square y by dx square so again differentiating again differentiating equation 3 and solving now i am not going to do whatever steps which are associated with it in the exam also you can write it directly so what we will get we will get the formula of d square y upon dx square at x equal to x0 will be equal to we will get it as 1 upon h square into bracket del square y0 minus del cube y0 plus 11 by 12 del raised to 4 y0 minus 5 by 6 del raised to 5 y0 now purposefully i am writing few higher order terms also if in a examination it is asked up to some higher order terms let's say up to raised to delta raised to 5 y0 delta raised to 6 uh, y0 then you should be able to uh, solve that numerical so let me write it as delta raised to 6 y0 and minus 7 by 10 delta raised to 7 y0 plus dot 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 so no need to derive this again no need to go again for differentiation and substitute all the values directly in the exam you can write this statement that is again differentiating equation number 3 and solving we will get this equation mark this as a equation number 4 so these two equations that is equation number 3 is very important for numerical solution and this equation number 4 is also important for numerical solution so this is what is a derivation of numerical differentiation using newton's forward interpolation formula thank you for watching this video